Hello everybody. In this presentation, I'll talk about our project for EE368 that is still image colorization using chrominance blending. Colorization is a computer assisted process of adding color to monochrome images or video. Traditionally, the algorithms used for colorization used image segmentation and matching or sometimes region tracking to carve out portions of image that needs to be colored. The resulting algorithms were complicated and less reliable and frequent user intervention was required to finally arrive at the desired colored image. In our approach for colorization, we use chrominance blending. The input to the process is a grayscale image and we also take a grayscale image with color scribbles on it. The basic idea of this algorithm is that homogeneity of grayscale indicates homogeneity in chrominance and we use this idea to propagate color from the colored regions to the uncolored regions of the image using chrominance blending. We use intrinsic geodesic distance as blending weights and results show that this is a more reliable technique of colorization and requires less user intervention. With just one or two iterations we are able to arrive at the final desired colored image. Let's take a closer look at the colorization algorithm. The input to this algorithm is a monochrome image and a color scribbled image. We first convert the, the RGB color image to YIQ color space to extract the luminance and chrominance components. We then binarize the I and Q components of the, uh, of the extracted chroma components and uh, generate a chroma mask that gives us the colored and uncolored pixels. We then compute the image gradient from the luminance Y component of the image that is, that is then used to construct a graph which will be used in the computation of distance values. The key operation in this algorithm is of calculating the minimum geodesic distance for a given uncolored pixel. The minimum geodesic distance is calculated for all the chrom chrominance values that are present in form of color in the color scribbles and for each chrominance value we find the minimum geodesic distance. This geodesic distance is then fed to the blending operation. The blending operation derives a weight from the minimum geodesic distance that is calculated and uses that weight to blend the given chrominance values and finally arrive the and finally arrive for the chrominance value of the uncolored pixel the component or the factor in the denominator in this equation is a normalization factor to ensure that the chrominance values lies in the correct range the weight that is used for weighting the chrominance values is an exponential function with a blending factor B and the blending factor can be adjusted between 1 to 6, 6 depending on the blending that is required in the final colored image. Once we obtain the chrominance values for all the uncolored pixels in the image, we fuse the Y component or the grayscale image with the newly calculated I and Q components and finally convert it to RGB color space to obtain the desired colored image. As can be seen in this slide that the most compute intensive task in this algorithm is to compute the geodesic distance and do the blending operation which is done for per uncolored pixel. In this algorithm almost about 90% of the time is actually spent in doing these two operations. To calculate geodesic distance we made use of the Jigstra's shortest path algorithm. The Jigstra's shortest path algorithm is actually run on the luminance gradient values as nodes and this is a very good approximation for the geodesic distance measure. As seen in this diagram here, the red dot is a uncolored pixel and the blue dots are the colored pixels for which we are going to find the geodesic distance. As you see, the Jigstra's shortest path algorithm 
would traverse the the path from the uncolored pixel to the colored pixel using the shortest luminous uh, using the the lowest luminous values to arrive at the at the shortest given geodesic distance cost this is a portion of the image that we used in this uh, in in this diagram and we see that uh, the two chrominance pixels are actually following different paths to finally get the geodesic distance cost as we have seen in this algorithm that the ma the main the main operations uses a uh, jigstra shortest path algorithm to find out the closest geodesic distance and since this is the most computer in intensive task we have coded that in, uh, into a fast c++ implementation the other optimization that we can implement is it derived from the fact that human perception of color blending is limited hence we can only blend the two or three most significant closest chrominance values to arrive at the chrominance value for a given uncolored pixel in this image we can see th this is that this is a chroma mask with an uncolored pixel here we first identify the nearest regions nearest chroma regions for this particular pixel by comparing the pixel location with the centroids of all the chroma regions and in this case we see that region number 1 2 and 3 are the nearest region chroma regions for this uncolored pixel we then see that we need not calculate the geodesic distance with all the chrominance values in the in the chroma regions but instead instead just make use of the boundary pixels to calculate the minimum geo geodesic distance and this saves us in most of the distance calculations for the inner chroma pixels of these chroma regions finally we can also do an optimization where instead of calculating the geodesic distance for all the boundary pixels it is uh, it will be wise to just uh, sample the inner periphery of the regions and take only 4 to 5 pixels at a regular distance in the calculation of ge minimum geodesic distance for the given uncolored pixel using these approximations we were able to reduce the computation time for this algorithm and still achieve decent results as shown in the next slide in this slide we show the final results that we achieved of the colorization process as you can see here uh the the first image is a classic pepper image wi which have which has color scribbles and these color scribbles were uh, taken from the actual colored pepper image so that we can uh, see the resemblance between the colored image and the original image and you can see that the output colored image is almost equal to the original classic pepper color image that we always that we normally use in image processing algorithms we can see that the image the colorization algorithm does also good job in colorizing some natural images and some portrait images of classic characters we we can also extend the the colorization algorithm to do another process which is called as recolorization we have we have not implemented recolorization in our uh, in, in this project but i like to give an example just to see how we can do recolorization with chrominance blending in this slide we can see an original image of a car and the aim is to change the color of the body of the car how we can do this we first scribble the the portion of the image where we want to change the color with a black color and keep keep the portion of the image that ne need not be changed in white the resulting and apply chrominance blending on on this scribbled color image the resulting image that is up obtained after chrominance blending is looks looks like this we can further binarize this image to ensure that only the pixels that for which the colors need to be changed is black and rest all of the pixels are white now we can use this mask to 
to finally change the color of the pixels where the pixel values are black. In this way, we can see that we can change the uh, the uh, uh, color of the body of the car from yellow to uh, to orange, and rest of the portion of the image are unchanged. So in this way, we can actually use chrominance blending to recolorization uh, to do recolorization of certain portions of the image and uh, further use this algorithm in a uh, in a better way that was all for this presentation thank you for watching this presentation if you have any questions you can email me at my email id thank you